Alright, hello, this is Ryan Malden with the Clan Necrosis mapping team. Today we're going to be looking at an existing map we've made. Uh, it hasn't been textured well yet, but we just have a model that we're working with. Um, and we're going to try to export this, look for any errors, and fix the errors. This is one of the big problems that a lot of people have when making maps, is they have something cool looking, and when they try to export, they get tons of errors and don't know how to fix it. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I don't think we've added a skybox yet, so let me go ahead and do that. Just real quick. Alright, now we'll want to select our level again and select and link. Just drag over the box. Okay, so now it's ready to export. So we'll go to File, Export. We're going to browse to uh, Microsoft Games, Halo Custom Edition data levels and your map folder export it as a JMS file and I already have one going so just save and yes now to find the errors we're actually gonna use tool so open your command prompt and go to uh, C program files Microsoft games Halo custom edition and then type tool structure and then my files under levels proton space proton and we're gonna wait for this to compile and we already have okay we have a lot of errors on this map so what we can do is import the uh, WRL file it made for us and the Halo Custom Edition root directory. Press open and make sure that reset scene turn to 3DS coordinates and create primi primitives is unchecked. And press OK. And we should see highlighted areas where we have errors in the map. So, we have something against the wall here, and it looks like the whole length of the wall. So we know what area to work with here. Let's just uh, press delete to get rid of those objects that we imported. And select the level, go into face mode. And right now I have uh, show in result on off toggle. And that's how why you see all the orange lines. Uh, and we can quickly see what the problem is here. We have one huge triangle touching many little triangles. You see that? All right. So what we need to do is either optimize on the wall or delete this big triangle and create little triangles to each one. Um, but in this case I'm just going to optimize a little bit. So let's go into vertex mode. Um, we're going to go into the weld menu 
and type around 15 pixels and do a target weld and what we're going to do is drag these vertices up along the wall and, it, and start welding them together all the way down And the goal here is to make one large triangle touch another large triangle. Let's zoom out. And let's just export again real quick. And all you have to do here is press the up arrow key and it'll bring up your last command. Press enter and we wait again okay, we still have a lot of errors maybe not quite as many and we'll import the same file again alright and right now you can see that we did in fact fix one of the walls okay. so let's take a closer look over here and I realize this isn't the greatest texture in the world to work with. Um, but it'll do. So press delete, get rid of those objects out of the scene. And we're going to basically do the same thing again for this side. Uh, go into vertex mode, press target again. And we're going to drag these along and optimize along this wall. and this is creating a sealed sealed world instead of having all these open edges I need to get closer over there And one more vertice on this wall. Okay. So let's zoom back out again. Let's save that. We're going to export it again. Replace the old file. Press the up arrow key to bring up the last command. Press enter. Okay, we didn't have as many errors this time. Uh, we'll import the proton.wrl again. And as you can see, we have fixed the other wall. Not too many errors left to fix. We have problems on this long wall right here. And it's probably the same thing again. Uh, we just have, yeah, one big triangle touching a lot of small ones here. If 
if you can see that. Let me go into face mode. It'd be easier to see. So we have one big triangle touching a lot of small triangles. And that will create a problem for us. So in order to fix that, the best thing to do here would be to go into vertex mode, select all the verts except for the top and bottom vert here. We're going to go type about 2000 in the weld area and do selected. And then we're going to drag this vert. Oops, undo. I'll be in target mode. We're going to drag that vert up to there. Okay. We're going to come down here, take this vert, weld upwards, and just in case, we're going to take this vert and weld upwards. And I believe I had never pressed delete back there so you can just select all these objects and press delete. It deletes them out of the scene. So, and again, all we have to do is export the file. Go to the command prompt, press the up arrow key enter and import the WRL file okay and we still have errors over there so let's find out what they are So let's go into. Um, let's undo that selection and press delete. Go back into face mode. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let me get out of move. That's screwing me up. Okay. Basically, the best thing to do in this case, if we wanted to keep the textures like that, would be to create a new face from there, or create two faces instead of this one face. So we're going to delete this face. Or let me undo that. We just want to delete this one face. And the rest of the board's kind of in my way, so I'm gonna I wanna hide. Make, makes it a lot easier to work with by hiding stuff. Let me get rid of that. Yeah. You can always get back and unhide it later. Tell you what, let's get over here and hide it from this way. Okay. So basically, I would definitely want to go into vertice mode and make sure that I hide 